Side benefit of making mega chili. Today's gonna be a scrap day. Got a few loads here. See how I can do. See what I can do for you. If you're new to this, I will explain. When I get down to the scrapyard, I'll put this in buckets and explain what's going on. For those of you that usually watch, this should be a nice little couple runs or so. was a damp and drab and dreary day all right let's start this off with some lead we got lead wheel weights a lead car battery terminal this scrap here doesn't take lead but uh, lead is pretty valuable stuff particularly if you get a lot of it here's everyone's favorite aluminum cans i got cat food cans in there and whatnot uh pepsi mango you never had it it's uh personally i think it's disgusting mango's delicious pepsi's not bad I put them together yuck gross <laughs> no offense uh maybe 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 other people would like it but uh, i will never buy that again i have the other i have the other nine cans sitting in a bottle in my fridge uh <laughs> number two insulated copper wire this is like uh, vacuum cleaner cords and uh that kind of wire braided wires like speaker wire and the wire look like that and uh, over here i've got some number one insulated copper wire this is the good stuff you could strip that kind right there that, uh, stripping on my foot look at it. that'd be worth stripping if you wanted to do that i don't have very much of it there so it doesn't really matter this is a uh, like fire system fire alarm wire it's a solid core of wire. Number one wire will generally be a solid piece of wire. About like so. See that? One piece of hunk of copper. Um, some scrapyards might uh, let you slide with some, you know, a high content of braided wire. See, that's technically like a braided wire, but see the content of copper in there? It's real high. Um, there's another piece that's like a thin that thin piece of braid wire some scrapyards might put that over there this scrapyard is probably going to be okay with that because it's the content right even though it's a braided wire here's some communications wire this is like ethernet and category 5 category 6 communications wire this scrapyard has its own category i think it was like 90 cents a pound last time 
Uh, number two was like a dollar twenty. This is like a dollar seventy, something like that. We'll see the prices here in a minute. Got some copper in here. Ignore this brown paper wire on there. I got about a pound of bare bright copper wire. Some of this came out of that type of stuff. I think all of it came out of there actually. But uh, technically, I need to get that brown wire off there. It just falls off there. Um, got some short steel here. This is going to be good with short steel. All these pieces. Where I live, we're at this scrapyard, short steel is under three feet long and uh, about that thickness and bigger. Otherwise, it would be tin, tin metal in here, like a tuna can, an old uh, light fixture. These are the rails off the aluminum blinds, tin metal rails, or whatever you call them, the bars, top and bottom. We've got some doggy food cans in here. Some scrapyards might have a separate category for tin cans. This is, the, this is basically the garbage metal. Some of these in there, and a piece of the lamp in there, and I got some of these circuit breakers in there. There's some uh, silver alloy connector tabbies in there. If you want to go after those, they're not worth a whole lot because uh, you got to refine them or find someone to sell it to. Uh, paper shredder, door off of a circuit breaker box and uh anyways i think you see that uh what else we got here aluminum blinds these are actually more valuable than you would think when you get a bunch of these dogs they uh they start adding up there's a pretty good weight to them some scrap yards might take you make you take these strings off uh there's two different kinds of these some kinds you can just pull the strings out, like those would be ones I could just pull off, see how it's working. I could basically just pull that string off there. There's another type that's manufactured in a way where they're kind of knotted on every every single blind. And you gotta sit there and cut them out. That's kind of a pain. Oh, I got some aluminum breakage. Piece of a lamp. This is neoprene wire. It's an aluminum insulator wire. I'm just gonna throw that in with my aluminum breakage. Aluminum breakage is aluminum like that with the uh, plastic and other material stuck to it right it's aluminum with plastic and technically there's a category for neoprene wire but that's not enough to weigh by itself so just throw it in there like that and uh brass i didn't talk about the brass did i so brass it's off the bottom of a sink that's off the top of a lamp uh, i think that came off the lamp as well this came off the inside of the lamp as well. Brass uh, faucet. This scrapyard's pretty lenient with brass. I generally will bring on my brass here. Some scrapyards might not do that. That might actually be a stainless steel. I'll see what they can do with that up, to the, up at the scale. But those pieces there are brass for sure. Um, this scrapyard will call this uh, case here they'll call that a white brass when you make brass what it is is they, they cross copper with zinc and they make brass and when they cross copper with a high high amount of zinc they make this supposedly called white brass it's just got a, a lot of zinc in it compared to copper um that might be a stainless steel on that one i'll see what they want to do up there uh, a plug like that might go as dirty brass. See the big brass chunks on there. Uh, just see what they want to do. That fell out of there. A couple pieces of dirty brass. But, uh, okay. Oh, aluminum. Aluminum conduits. Some of this wire came out of. This is an electrical conduit. These are the bracket holders off of a ceiling fan. Technically, that's also a zinc zinc alloy this scrapyard will give me clean aluminum for it so just do whatever your scrapyard tells you to do right this is aluminum part of a, a lamp stand uh, carpet tack down stuff yeah what else we got in there oh yeah a, a mounting bracket that, go, that goes on the inside of a ceiling fan 
helps mount the mount the fan to the unit or whatever um i think that's about it and i'm gonna go get another load show that to you show you the receipts and stuff here in a minute number one copper three dollars sixty cents that's about where it was back in 2008 2009 Number one copper, insulated copper dollar ninety. I'll show you the receipts here in a minute. I just want to look at this dollar eighty for brass. Uh, aluminum was at thirty-five. Aluminum was at sixty cents back in two thousand eight, two thousand nine. Uh, I think aluminum cans were up to like eighty cents back then. So we still got a little room to go. Tin's down at five. Back in those days, tin was like at, at ten cents. Uh, Short steel's at nine cents. That's a big gap. Nine cents and five cents. That's a big gap for ten and short steel. But uh, electric motors twenty-five. Uh, see that? Let's see the long steel. They call long steel stuff that's longer than three feet. But uh, I'm gonna go get another load and uh, I'll show you about those receipts. I got like thirty-five bucks for that load. But uh, let's see how we can do here. I own, I own. is laying around here um, oxygen machines are gonna go in my next video I do believe um, hmm. this is stuff is pretty valuable on its own so let's see if I can scrounge something out of another unit
probably a pretty nice bet, but uh, it's lost quite a bit of its value to sell it on eBay or something. It's, uh, I'm sure it's got some value to it. Mizuno. But uh, it's got some deep scratches. I know some people are going to get upset I scrapped this. <laughs> but it's got pretty deep scratches. It almost feels like a crack. This is just a scratch though. But uh, that's kind of uh, beat up. So there it goes. And I was going to say, I got a bunch of these. I'm going to save them, but I don't know what I'm saving them for at this point. <laughs> uh, I know that those are worth a little bit of money, right? Someday I might say, man, you know what? I need 12 outlets all strapped to a board. <laughs> and pre-wired. But uh, anyways, I, I guess I got enough of those. If that day comes, I'll still have a bunch. <laughs> uh, I'm gonna have to take the top off of there, but I'm just making this video, so I don't waste a lot of time. Something you don't see every day. I've never seen that in my life before, ever. Anybody know what they're doing there? was still a dark and damp and drab and dreary day. When he showed up at the scrapyard with his second load of pay. <laughs> I guess I don't have the heart to scrap that. Nice little aluminum meter uh, yardstick. It hardly weighs anything. So, uh, okay, down here I've got some junk wire. It's been a while since I brought Christmas lights in. I'm not sure what they're gonna give me for that, but uh, it probably just goes junk wire, I suppose. Another one of those. Lots of times my loads look a lot alike. Another one of those guys. Got some dirty brass here. It's not really enough to weigh. I got a piece of copper here with some brass nuggets. I'll just probably throw that in there. They might give me a pound for something there. Ah, a little piece of number one. This layer of copper wire. Most scrapyards probably won't do that, but uh, I'll just like throw all those three different categories in. They might give me like a, a pound of dirty brass or something, you know? <clears throat> just get rid of it. More number two insulated copper wire. This is my bread and butter. Buckets of this number two insulated copper wire. This stuff is all over the place. Once you start, once you're aware of it, this stuff is all over the place, man. <laughs> um, over here, I got some aluminum breakage. I could take the time to clean these up, but they're in there, they're stuck in there pretty good. Uh, this weather stripping on these pieces of aluminum here, and. Uh, that's gonna be like a dirty stainless there. It might just go in tin shred, but uh, see what they want to do with that. And then I got uh, some more breakage. This uh, door door deal is actually a big chunk of aluminum with a steel bar stuck to it. So that's aluminum breakage. Here's some clean aluminum. Baseball bat I already showed you. So that's actually a piece of extruded aluminum there, and uh, a couple of these pieces of aluminum over here. The uh, stripping came off fairly easy. It was a different kind of stripping, so it came off easy. Uh, over here, I got some stainless steel. Stainless steel heat element. That's probably a pound of dirty stainless. A couple of nice stainless steel pot lids. 
piece of short steel unused grill dealy deal in my last video a lot of people didn't get my sense of humor when i went like this i may have made it look too good <laughs> see if we can do it again see if people catch it i only saw two comments caught it okay uh down here i got some got a lamp and uh i could technically i could take this off here in the scrap world there's all kinds of cleaning you can do this was a piece of cat uh coaxial cable uh dirty brass see those guys there that guy and that guy dirty brass comes off the ends of a coaxial cable that's like the cable cable tv comes through your wall um it's just more pieces of steel that actually might go with short steel um let's see what they want to do with that lots of times it has to be pure short steel so yeah actually i think i thought that was hydraulic that's just this thread there um so that'll be a short steel there uh there's a vacuum cleaner little dust buster motor in there and some tidbits and some, some doodads and some thingamajiggers down there and that sort of stuff and uh i think that's it oh with this with this thing you gotta be careful with these these are dangerous I once did this to a propane bottle and there's usually there's a valve that you can open and then there's usually going to be like a safety a safety valve also that you can open there's usually going to be two drains on these types of deals and uh that's a nice piece of aluminum in there actually um But I had a propane bottle once where I opened the valve, drained it, and then there was a secondary deal that I opened, drained it. It's supposed to be totally drained, right? And I took this, took the brass off of the propane bottle. And in those propane bottles, the gas, I don't know how it does it, but I guess it sticks like to the bottom and to the sides. And it's still under pressure. And the uh, thing came up like this, and just, just barely missed my head. And... Uh, these are dangerous <laughs> any kind of deal like that that's under pressure i mean this is oxygen it doesn't matter what kind of air or gas it is if it's under pressure man it's really dangerous so uh you know what um i may just donate that to them let them have it <laughs> um i don't really see a it almost looks like you need a special tool to open that up. But, uh... That thing says it's empty, but I don't know if that's correct or not. That wasn't really hooked to it, you know? Hmm. <laughs> that's probably just going to be a donation. They will know what to do with it. What else can we talk about on here that I missed earlier? Uh, extruded aluminum, 70 cents. That's a big gap. 35 cents normal aluminum. That's a big gap. That's kind of strange. Uh, what else is on here? I guess I talked about it. Uh, I'll show you the receipts here in a second. Throwing some production value shots. What's up, catalytic converter man? Alrighty, let's see how we did here. I like them scrap presses being up there like that. So with these high scrap prices, I'm averaging about $25 a load, $25 to $30 a load. That's nice. When the prices are low, I average about you know about ten dollars maybe first load was uh 3805 
Had one pound of clean cans, 50 cents. 14 pounds clean aluminum, 35 cents a pound for $4.90. Number two insulated copper wire, four pounds. $1.20 a pound for $4.80. 49 pounds of tin, five cents a pound for $2.45. One pound of aluminum breakers, 10 cents, 10 cents. Uh, one pound of number two insulated, uh, number one insulated copper wire, $1.90. That's one pound of number one copper. That was that Bear Bright. One pound for 360. 10 pounds short steel, uh, nine cents a pound, 90 cents. That category five, that communications wire, that was two pounds at $1.05 a pound. That's a great price for that, $2.10. Number one insulated copper wire, six pounds, a dollar ninety a pound for eleven dollars forty cents. That's a great price. And uh, three pounds of brass at a dollar eighty. They gave me clean brass for that that faucet, that busted up faucet I had. Uh, Five dollars forty cents. So that copper and that brass is worth some good money these days. What do you think about that? All right, now I can actually see this receipt a little better. <laughs> uh, four pounds extruded aluminum, dirty, 40 cents a pound, $1.60. Uh, I think that was for that. Oh, that you know what? That, that softball bat, that Mizuno softball bat, that was a composite plastic bat. That, that tricked me. I don't, I don't know if I've ever seen, I don't know if I've ever brought a plastic bat into the scrapyard before. <laughs> Uh, two pounds brass, dollar eighty a pound, three dollars sixty cents. Number two insulated copper wire, six pounds, dollar twenty a pound for seven twenty. Uh, somehow they gave me clean painted aluminum, thirteen pounds, fifty cents a pound for six fifty. I'm not exactly sure what they did with that aluminum. Uh, I think they might have gave me, uh, they might have. Uh, Gave me clean for that for my uh, my dirty aluminum bucket, my aluminum breakers bucket. I think they gave me clean aluminum. Uh, twenty four pounds tin, five cents a pound, dollar twenty. Uh, Christmas lights separate. Look at it, fifteen cents a pound. So Christmas lights are still real low. Uh, stainless breakage, thirteen pounds. Or no, they they put my aluminum breakage in as stainless breakage. Or no. Oh, I know what they did. That's, uh, I donated that aluminum oxygen bottle to them. And uh, I think that's what they did. I think they gave me $6.50. So I take that back. That's what they did. I'm not sure exactly what they did. Something like that. Uh, stainless breakage, I think they gave me for my aluminum breakage. $0.15 cents a pound, $1.95. Uh, once, the, once they do the deal... And they throw it all in his individual containers and <laughs> it's almost this is really not even worth it to go back and try to sort it out right unless it's some kind of egregious price difference either way so it's not that big a deal it kind of makes up for itself a little bit over a little bit under sometimes uh short steel nine pounds that was that grill deal and uh, those door steel door hinges things nine cents a pound nine pounds 81 cents and uh, stainless steel those were those two pot lids 40 cents a pound 80 cents uh, total of 23.81 not too shabby plus i got my little handy dandy yardstick i like that little guy he probably that probably wouldn't end up you know if i put that in my aluminum bucket it probably wouldn't have changed nothing sometimes scrap doesn't doesn't uh Certain pieces of scrap don't change the weight, so you know you might want to look out for something like that. Um, you could weigh stuff yourself if you want. If you wanted to uh, get as most money as possible out of your loads, you could get a scale and instead of bringing in, you know, 20.2 pounds of aluminum, you just bring in 20 pounds of aluminum because you know you're going to get paid for 20 pounds of aluminum, right? And so you just leave that point two at home for the next load so uh and that particularly that comes in play with brass and copper if you want to do like that right uh there's no sense in giving you know three or four ounces of copper to the scrapyard for free but on the other side though is if, if you don't weigh stuff you might bring in 2.9 ounces or 2.8 ounces uh you might bring in 2.8 pounds of copper 
uh, and the scrapyard scale will say three pounds of copper, right? For 2.8 pounds of copper. And then the next day you might bring in 3.2 pounds of copper and the scrapyard scale will pay you for three pounds of copper. So that stuff actually has a way <laughs> of balancing out. You might not think about that. You know, like you might be putting in a lot of time to, to make sure you're not, not, you know, giving them three pounds or three ounces of copper for free. But uh, there's also the other side of that, the scrapyard scale, they round off to pounds, right? Up and down. So 2.8 pounds of copper will show up as three. 3.2 pounds of copper will show up as three. So that has a way of balancing it out. It's kind of something lots of people might not think about. But anyways, I'm blabbering at this point. I sure hope you enjoyed the show. And as always, thanks for watching. These totes are like 3.7, 3.8 pounds. So it's, this tote empty shows up as four pounds on the scrapyard scale. So technically when I weigh with this tote, I do lose a couple ounces of weight every single time. That's kind of an interesting fact. You might want to check out your totes, see how much your totes weigh.